My name was on anybody's list. Reasons because because I've been having that feeling that people don't like me. One thing we can't take away from this BB Niger season 9 housemate is that they know how to party. Guys, all 26 of them, in fact all 28 of them, they know how to turn up, they know how to have fun, and they know how to party. These are party animals. Couple with the father the DJs that Biggie has been sending in every Saturday party has been top notch. We had the likes of DJ Sean. And today, or yesterday, we had DJ Desi. And guys... The DJ brought down the roof. Yo, the party was so amazing that all these housemates got drunk. And you know what comes with the party? Where Godons is present, guys. It's always going to be fun. The after party is always going to be wild. And that is what we are here to discuss. The after party. Guys, I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. You know what we do here. All you have to do to become a member of this community is to make sure you watch this video till the end subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever i drop a video give this video a like if you like what i'm doing and if you want to come back i'll appreciate that so let's get into the topic of today guys the party and the after party guys this housemate they are like they like to have fun and when you bring a dj that knows what he or she is doing and you bring a drink like Gordon's into the mix. It's a party of a lifetime because see what happened last uh, party, last Saturday night party, and see what happened this recent Saturday night party. But guys, before we get into what we are here to discuss about, which is the after party, let's first of all talk about the, the dress, guys. The dress, yes. The dress that Big Brother gave this housemate because I'm still wrapping my head around what in the name of Temu is Big Brother doing. Like, this is the whole uh, issue of what i ordered and what i got big brother went to temu and got onyeka's dress big brother went to temu and got uh, our auntie's dress guys see our auntie was looking like an usher our auntie was looking like an usher you know all these uh, low budget churches where the usher is where the usher is just anybody that comes through that's how our auntie was looking like our auntie was defeated in that clothes and i have to say for the likes of Wani and Aneta, looking like an early Londoners, it's a massive, massive upgrade compared to what Big Brother gave Onyeka and our auntie. Spending money and buying 20, uh, 26 clothes in this hard economy, it's, uh, it's hard. So kudos to him for having this house made at heart. I don't even know what Onyeka was looking like. Just take a just take a look at this picture, guys. Take a look at how Onyeka was looking in her Saturday and, uh, outfit for a party. I'm happy that she didn't uh, actually put it on and she found something more Onyeka to put on because that wasn't looking like Onyeka. But uh, let's talk about the after party. The housemate had fun. They had a lot of drink and uh, a couple of kisses went on into the went on during the party. I'm talking about Sean and uh, one, uh, Wani of the Wani X Handy. And then after the whole party, I think uh, this housemate decided, okay, you know what? Let's do a nice after party. Let's have fun. Because they don't have to have fun. And they decided to play the game of uh, truth or death. But this is what I noticed that they don't just outrightly play the truth or death game. They started off by lemon, lemon, one, lemon, lemon, two game or concentration. Then if you mess it, if you mess it up, they don't give you a truth or a death. And guys, the truth or death was yo. The truth or death was insane. And during that truth or death, guys, we saw kisses. We saw kisses that we didn't even know could happen. We've been in, we, we've been seeing this housemate the way they move and the shifts that have been, they've been forming. I think this season will go down in the history of Big Brother as the season almost all the housemates are into a ship. Almost all the housemates are into a ship, guys. And this Saturday night party saw a new ship be born. Like a new ship was born through the act of kissing. I'm talking about the kiss between Tofa and Anita. I've forgotten who dared them to kiss each other. And guys, this housemate kissed. Yo, when I'm talking about kiss, they kissed each other. And then for Onyeka and Ben. Guys, we've been noticing the movement between Ben and Onyeka. Uh, sorry, not Onyeka. Ben and Chizoba, which is Onyeka's sister. 
And it reminds me of the fight that happened before the party. The whole fight where Chizaba was feeling like this housemate don't take her uh, ideas into consideration whenever they are make their she's in a group that whenever she brings idea they just let it slide and at the end of the day it's her idea that might have helped them win and uh, coupled with the fact that her sister is not even siding with her whenever she brings up that idea that her sister feels like her idea is going to take away her shine but that's not the truth so Ben was kind of cuddling uh, calming her down and I'm looking at Ben and I'm like Ben are you, is it not the same you that say you don't you are not into a uh, sheep that you don't want to do this whole sheep of a thing talking about so having someone outside and I'm looking at Ben and I'm looking at Ben consoling her that, hey sorry you know you are sisters and I'm looking at Ben just for Ben to end up kissing Chizoba. And I'm like, Ben, you should have told us in the beginning. You should have told us that this is what you want to do. But I could ask them if this is what they want to do, if they are if they appreciate each other. I'm here to root for them, guys. I am here to root for them. I love love, guys. I love love. But let's not kid ourselves. We all know that anything shape happening in a big brother Niger house is all about the uh, strategy. It's all about go uh, ex extending your your stay in the house. Because you don't tell me that you meet someone in a house. And then two days, three days, you're already falling in love with that. No, it doesn't happen like that. Even in the real world, it doesn't happen like that. But uh, let's keep on moving. So, Suj then on here got to crawl from wherever she is staying, a distance that she's staying to him. What's that being? Crawl to, crawl to me. Eh? As crawl. crawl to me. As crawl. And when Onyeka was doing that, I'm like, what kind of 50 shade of grey? Has a uh, suit you've been watching? Because that seems like a movie from you know, all these X rated uh, movie, PG 18 movie. That's kind of that's the kind of scene that Suja and Onyeka was portraying. But uh, let's keep moving. The next day was to Victoria, and for Victoria to take that, uh, she kind of caught me off guard because we've known Victoria to be in the 10 furniture of the house. But I am sorry, guys, that is what I've been seeing. That's what I've been seeing trending on social media, people calling her the beautiful furniture of the season so to see her open up have fun and entertain herself with that kind of game i'm like okay maybe we haven't seen the full victoria yet maybe she's still coming out of her chair little by little but to what extent this is a game like big brother you need to come out immediately you need to start playing so uh victoria was there to undress ozzy with her mouth and victoria went in there started undressing i'm like yo these children, these children, whatever you guys, whatever you guys are doing, I'm in support of it. So after the whole truth or the, the housemate went their separate ways and they started having conversation. And it was um, along that conversation that the camera panned into DJ Flo. And at the background was, me was, uh, what's his name, was Mayor and Ruti kind of kissing each other. And uh, Mayor kissing the neck of fruity and DJ Flo was like mm -hmm. and after that I kind of had a conversation I've had a conversation between DJ Ruti and uh, sorry I, had, <laughs> I kind of had a conversation between Ruti and DJ Flo I just overheard Ruti saying that you know I can't date someone like me outside and I'm like and then what are you what have you been doing and Ruti was like oh so you've been leading him on and they had this devilish smile about it and Ruti was like no i'm not leading anybody on and she pointed out that she's doing it to pepper somebody now whoever that somebody is i don't know i have a feeling that it might be anita but now guys anita is in a kind of a situation with tofa so will anita have the time after she said that that she can't date mayor outside and that she's doing it to pepper somebody uh, she made a joke to DJ Flo and was like, you will see me now, go and kiss him. Just watch how th that person will react. And immediately she went in there. She started kissing Mayor. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who is in charge of the mic because it's like they increased the volume of that kiss. And they were kissing. I'm so, I don't know why they didn't show us the lady that she wants to pepper. Because at the end of the day, that kiss was done and dusted. And I'm looking at this kid and I'm like, wow. So you guys actually came to play. It is getting boring at this stage that all you have to do is to advance your game or prepare somebody is to be in a ship with the person that that person is interested in. It doesn't go. 
it's boring at this time guys it is boring so after i thought okay these guys are done let's all go to bed we saw a conversation between suj and mary and guys during that conversation i kind of felt like mary you are so entitled like it's the entitlement for me it is the entitlement of nelly for me so when they were having that conversation it br nelly brought up the game that this housemate played recently where this housemate uh you know the game where they played where they had to write down the people's the, the people the housemate they like their personality their sense of uh, fashion and uh, who they find a uh, sexy or interesting i've forgotten the, the sentences they use so this housemate compiled list so for Nelly, Nelly felt like, why is it that none of these housemates wrote down her name in the names of people they like? And so she was like, no, you can't be fair like that. Everybody has who they like. And maybe the reason why they don't, why they didn't put your name there is because they have a feeling, okay, why can they be liking this person? Why can they be writing this uh, girl's name? Whereas Suj is there. So Suj was trying to see, uh, let, get her to see that the reason why they didn't write your name is because they already know that you and I are an item in this house. But my babe didn't even want to accept that. She was like, no, I've, I've, I, 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 I've had some instances where whenever I walk past, I have this kind of weird energy I feel when people don't like me. And whenever I walk past people, they always keep talking about me. They always talk about me. And so she was trying to calm her down, tell her that don't. Don't put much effort into this. It's a game. Everybody has who they like at the end of the day. Nelly wasn't giving up. Nelly was busy talking, why not her, why not her. And during that conversation, Onyeka walked past or came to give Nelly food. And Nelly was, you know Onyeka, she's always uh, eager to hear any gist that is flying around and uh, take it in. So when she heard the gist, she was like, Nelly, no, you can't be doing, you can't be doing that. Did you see your name when they told the housemate to write the, the names of people they are interested in or names of people uh, they like their fashion sense? It was nearly, 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 nearly. And, uh, and you can see, Onyeka understood that this is a game. Everybody is entitled to what they like. Everybody is entitled to what they are interested in. So, Nelly, you came in first when this housemate talked about fashion. You came in first when this housemate talked about who they find attractive in the house. But because you didn't come in first or nobody wrote your name when they talked about who they like in the house, you are now feeling entitled for this housemate to kind of like you. Why? Why? You already have your partner who likes you. You have someone like Sue who likes you. You have all the guys in the house who talks to you, which is a good thing. So why must you be entitled to this housemate liking you? That's what I don't like. But guys, let me know what are your thoughts down below in the comment section about all the drama that came with this uh, with the Saturday night party and uh, all the kisses, all the new sheep that was born through the out of case in the Big Brother Niger season nine house. Let me know what what your thoughts are down below and don't forget, guys, like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. I'll see you guys on another video. Bye bye.